Time now for Better Money with Joel Johnson. Today we are talking about investment styles. Joel is a certified financial planner and managing partner at Johnson Brunetti to help us through this. Thanks for being here, Joel. It's good to be back, Kara. So everyone's a little bit different. Maybe you're just naturally a saver. Maybe you're impatient. Maybe you want everything right now. I just, but you need to know what you are. Yeah, it's important to, you know, the, the old saying, know thyself. Yeah. It's really important when it comes to investing and saving also because, you know, if you know yourself, you're going to be able to avoid the mistakes and probably take advantage of some of your strengths. Okay. So, first of all, you want to ask yourself, are you a do-it-yourselfer? Yeah, there's a lot of people that are do-it-yourselfers out there. What do we mean by that? That means somebody that doesn't want any advice managing their money. They don't want to work with a financial advisor. They want to do their own research and they want to do it yourself. Now, I don't convince people that say that to me that they shouldn't be doing it themselves because there are a few, very small percentage of population that do quite a good job doing that. But most people need a financial advisor or at least somebody to bounce ideas off of. Mm -hmm. So if you are a do-it-yourselfer, make sure you know how to do the research. If you're not, then admit it and start talking to people you might be able to get advice from, including maybe a group of friends, kind of join an investment club or something like that. Okay. So then you have to figure out what is your risk tolerance. This is the big one, and there's a lot of worksheets on this because what causes people to get into trouble is when they take too much risk. When they take too much risk, that's when, and we're gonna talk about this in a minute, the emotions take over. So yeah. understand your risk tolerance. Take some tests. The best ones to understand it are the ones that quantify how many dollars you're gonna lose if the market goes down. So it's easy to say, well, the market's gonna go down 20%. How does that feel? And somebody might say, well, 20%'s okay. But if they have $500,000 and you say, hey, you could lose $100,000 by taking this amount of risk, all of a sudden it's a different conversation. So okay. understand your risk tolerance. And the third question you want to ask yourself, can you avoid making emotional decisions based on the market? This is the biggie, right? Emotions get in people's way. In fact, for most investors, for most savers, the biggest impediment to them being successful is their own behavior. Okay. Why do people behave badly when it comes to savings and investments? They behave badly because their emotions get in the way. It's that fear of missing out when things are going well, just like right now, things have been going well for an awfully long, t long time, or it's the fear of loss when things are going poorly, and then they get into the market timing and all of that. So it's very important to understand your emotions and get your emotions out of the way in any way you can. Uh, so you have an offer for people so they can better understand themselves, and it's what role should impulse play in your investment portfolio? So we can answer some questions in this. Right. It's a great resource. It talks about the things that we've mentioned today and also gets into some of the resources that you can go online and get if you want to make sure that you're on the right track with your retirement savings. All right. To get this free offer, all you have to do is go to bettermoneytv.com and you can get the free offer right there. It's a great offer, and email us with your questions. We love answering every single one. Alrighty, thank you so much, Joel. Thank you, Kara. That's Better Money.